Hello, I'm Jared Taylor with American Renaissance. HuffPost is a big deal. Depending on the year, it's the most popular political website in the entire country. It has local editions in all major U.S. cities and international editions in Arabic, French, German, Greek, Italian, Japanese, Korean, Portuguese, and, of course, Spanish. It was the first digital news outlet to win a Pulitzer Prize. It is also obsessively, childishly anti-white. Here is a typical nutty article. White families are engines of inequality. The idea is that white people are rich only because non-whites are poor. Note the family in the illustration. Author Jesse Daniels, who is white, says white parents should think twice about doing the best for their children because this could hurt non-white children. And I quote, taking care of people we love can't be an excuse to actively disadvantage other people's children. She goes on, white parents who want the best for their kids must find a way to give it to them without pulling up the ladder behind them. I mean, how does that even work? You pay for piano lessons for your child and you are actively disadvantaging a child of color? And here's Sarah Ruiz Grossman, Hispanic, in a piece called, We Need to Talk About White People Calling the Cops on People of Color. She says when white people do that, they are a menace to people of color because the police might show up and just kill them. Her conclusion, and I quote, Even in cases where the possibility of actual harm seems to exist, experts suggest that Americans particularly white people, think twice before calling the police. So, you check your privilege before you dial 911. Ward Anderson, who looks white, wrote an article called America's Obsession with Guns is a Real Mental Illness. He says that, quote, paranoid, bitter white men with access to a large number of guns are the real gun problem in this country. He says, if you think you have the right to own an AR-15 or two, this should be, quote, treated as a mental illness. Now, taken with the previous article, the message seems to be, if you are white, you better think hard before you call the police. But if you want to arm yourself for self-defense, you have a mental illness. HuffPo also picks on Christians. Here's an article called, White Evangelicals are the Most Fragile of All White People by a black woman named Brandy Miller. She says she tries to open the eyes of her white fellow Christians to the, quote, culpability of white people at large in perpetuating racism and upholding white supremacy. But they don't take it very well. Some even cry. And this resistance is just another way white people, quote, reinforce white supremacy. In another article, Miss Miller complains that, quote, Christians have succeeded only in giving power to the whites of the world while perpetuating darkness for people of color. Do you remember when black congresswoman Maxine Waters was encouraging people to hunt down members of the Trump administration to shout at them and harass them? Well, even a few Democrats thought that was a violation of civility. Well, HuffPo responded with an article called Fuck Civility, in which someone named Michelangelo Signorelli said the administration is turning the country into a, quote, fascist state, so only sellouts would ever worry about civility. Some Huffo articles are just an excuse to yell at white people. Here's one called Halsey Calls Out Hotels for Having Only White People Shampoo. Halsey is a singer who is so famous, I've never heard of her. And she looks white to me, but she says, quote, I look like a white girl, but I don't feel like one. I'm a black woman. Anyway, the whole article is about how furious she is about hotel shampoo. She says, I can't use this perfumed, watered down, white people shampoo. Clearly a terrific, insightful article. And here's a great HuffPo title. In America, white women can get away with almost anything. Written by a person of color, Corintha Mitchell. 
White women sometimes revel in doing great harm, she writes. She complains about, quote, the deeply held belief that the only real citizens are straight white men. And she adds, real citizens, white men, keep their license to do harm because others must sometimes be reminded that they are not truly citizens. Well, Corintha Mitchell teaches at Ohio State University and has published several books. Not bad for someone who is not truly a citizen. HuffPo has special sections where privileged people get to sound off on what's important to them. These are called queer voices, Latino voices, Asian voices, black voices. Well, who's missing? But still, it's easy to get HuffPo's lowdown on white people. We don't have voices. Obviously, we don't deserve that. But you can search for a section called white people. It's full of great stuff. Here's an article about that goofball, Rachel Dolezal, called Sometimes I Don't Want to Be White Either. I don't think I need to tell you why the author, Ali Michael, Ph.D., feels that way. Here's another title. White women who enable Trump do not deserve the benefit of your doubt. And another. White America, wake the fuck up. And another, all lives matter? Let's prove it. White silence is violence. And another, 10 things white people need to quit saying. Example, never say a person of color is racist because only white people can be racist. And another, survey reveals a startling truth about white Christians. Just one guess what that startling truth is. They're racist. What else? HuffPo's angle is so predictable and so idiotic, it probably doesn't do much harm. It's different, though, when they try to wreck someone's life by proclaiming anti-abortion leader emerges as white nationalist. Well, I thought white women could get away with almost anything. I guess not when they say they want their people to survive. HuffPo South Africa ran a piece called could it be time to deny white men the franchise? It turned out it was written as satire by a white man, but the South Africa editor-in-chief still defended it. Well, I have a challenge to viewers. Show me one article, one line from HuffPo that says something nice about white people. Just one, because if there is, I've missed it. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe to our YouTube channel and visit our website at amren.com. That's A M R E N.com.